true. You are. So, so. I had to learn. I'm still learning. Break your Jay Parkinson here with WBIG TV again, and we're here at the Segola booth, Sima, and we have an amazing artist in front of us with her work. Daniela, thank you very much for uh, sharing a couple of minutes. We have an extraordinary 2022 Dodge Challenger. How many hours would you say you have into this vehicle? A lot. <laughs> so I tell people I have six months in this car. Six months. Um, if you want to gauge the time, I have 60 hours alone in the wheels. 60 hours in each wheel. That's Not in each, that's all the wheels. But you can gauge that time times this. So. Could you share some highlights uh, of what you're proud of on some of the work that's so unique looking? Uh, so, so what I really wanted to do was I wanted to give her a classic look, but kind of put my twist on it. I wanted her to, I want to pay homage to the older Chryslers that came before her. Um, I wanted it to sit, I want to be able to take this car, sit it next to a 71, 72, and it just looked like it belongs there. Awesome. And um, I really feel like I did that, especially with the stripes on the back, uh, the double Mopar stripes on the hood. With extraordinary detail. Uh, flawless, flawless. Uh, one of the other folks here said that you know, the door jams, everything is... Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I went into the door jams. I went extreme and went into the back of the doors as well. Oh my goodness. What was the uh, most challenging part of the uh, process? Being brave enough to do it. <laughs> really? It really was. So I've always been fearless, but this being my first show car, um, my first time showing at SEMA and showing the world what I could do, I really had to make myself calm down and say, I can do this. I know how to do this. Um, so that's what I did. Once I actually got my hands on it and started working, my nerves calmed down and, you know, talent for a better lack of words kicked in. Extraordinary. So, Could you share with us some of the uh, detail inside the hood? Absolutely. So, of course, the inside of the Inside the engine bay had to match the rest of the car. Um, we have a couple of panels here. Uh, the valve covers, uh, the cover here. I wanted it to all kind of tie together and match the car. I wanted the entire car to make sense, no matter whether you looked at the interior, whether you looked under the hood, no matter where you look, it makes sense. Oh, fantastic. Uh, was there one part that was more difficult to, uh, to render than any other? So, for me, it was the gold leaf. I'm, I'm new to the gold leaf. I actually did it twice because I wasn't happy with it the first time. Um, that's the thing. I like to take chances. I like to experiment. On a brand new $80,000, $100,000 car, I'm not scared to do that. So, But yeah, the, the variegated gold leaf and getting it all straight and crisp was the toughest part for me. I understand there's an incredible amount of detail in the wheels. So everything that is in the car, in the body, from the uh, from the orange stripe to the gold leaf to the filigree, is in the wheels. Um, so the hyper shift that is the main color of the body is in the center and fades to black like the car fades to black as it goes down. So some of the hidden gems in it are the Hellcat. Uh, emblem which you really can't see unless you catch the light just right oh now that's a ghost so there it is i've got it so that's there i locked that inside the uh, interior on the seats as well so this ghosted in cap is on the seats as well it just kind of all ties it together Magnificent, just extraordinary. Thank well, Danielle, you've been very kind and generous with your time. This is truly an amazing piece of art uh, that deserves uh, to be in the Auburn Hills Chrysler, in my humble opinion. Thank you. Thank you oh, for, my God, such a compliment. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate your time uh, spending you. with us, and you have a great rest of the show. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you.